This is Albert Hello. You are an expert on human trafficking for the UNODC. Can you explain what is human trafficking? Yes, uh, human trafficking uh, is, has, a, has a legal definition uh, coming from the protocol to prevent and suppress and punish trafficking in persons. And it basically consists of three elements. Uh, because when you read it at once, it may sound a little bit complicated, but you can break it down into three elements. That's an act of recruitment, transport, transfer, harboring of a person by improper or illicit means such as uh, deception, the use or threat of force, uh, abuse of a position of vulnerability, but also kidnapping, etc. And very important, it is to be done for the purpose of exploitation. That's the third element. And exploitation can include, just to sum it up, forced labor, sexual exploitation, and the removal of organ. So you would have, for example, a situation that, that would clearly qualify as trafficking is if a human being was abducted and then uh, uh, exploited uh, in forced labor or etc. More complicated becomes the case when uh, people are deceived. So they would be promised uh, better working conditions, good working conditions, easy money, um, uh, and, and, and then like maybe even uh, a legal status in a, in a given country uh, and then upon arrival would see the real circumstances uh, and again would find themselves in, in the situation of exploitation, uh, forced labor, sexual exploitation, etc. What are the recommendations suggested by the UNODC to help fight organized crime? Um, it's for us, um, the, the, the legal framework exists, that's the UN Convention Against Organized Crime, and uh, which is also attached, or, or which is the mother convention of the Trafficking in Persons Protocol. Um, when you talk about trafficking in persons in the context of organized crime, what the protocol requires is that you first of all criminalize trafficking in persons, because if you don't criminalize it, you cannot put traffickers to court. Um, so you must define it. And then very, very important in the case of uh, human trafficking is uh, the protection of and assistance to victims. And that is an obligation in itself, just because uh, that's, that's what states should do. But it will also support a sufficient, efficient, um, criminal justice response to the issue and, and to tackle human trafficking in the context of organized crime um, would require that countries, for example, cooperate with one another and that could be done through mutual legal uh, assistance, uh, joint ex uh, investigations, uh, the extradition of offenders, etc. And that is why it is so important to actually harmonize legislation and approaches across borders so as to be sure we are talking about the same crimes, we are talking about the same phenomena, and we have similar responses to those so as to uh, prevent safe havens for organized crime. Thank you so much, Mrs. Herbel, for your participation at the Media Box. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Pleasure. <laughs>